Uh, just start us off with your opening thoughts on, on today's match. Uh, well, I think two things, really. You score four goals at home, you should be, you should be winning the game of football. I think that's, that's the bottom line. Uh, three goals from set plays, defensively poor. Poor. Uh, and then, and then the the incredible, the incredible uh, quality of of the uh, comebacks was was special. Uh, you know, it was there was one point where we just had to say, you know, that I think this is the way it's going to be. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's going to be a nil nil at this place. Uh, I think the overriding emotion is is probably that in games of football of this magnitude now, where you've got nine games to go and there's there's a lot for every single team. Yeah, and and, and bearing in mind that. You know, in pre-season we have we have no word of a lie. We have probably 15, 10 to fifteen meetings with the MLS throughout the pre-season. Different things they do they do brilliant things. Different initiatives, and one of them is with the referees on how they're going to referee's game, what what decisions they're going to cut down on this. VAR is going to do this. You know, I th I think m m my my feeling is at this moment in time is that next preseason I think I'm going to pull Paul and Timbers out of that meeting because because it's a it's a wasted two and a half hours of of my time my players' time because I think what we see in that meeting we don't see on the pitch now now they're human beings uh, they make mistakes uh, I I felt in the game that. I mean, if you look at Jonathan Rodriguez, his leg he's got probably a six-inch gash in his in his shin. Santi Santi got kicked from pillar to post, uh, and he books Eric Williamson for for appealing for something. But you know, so, so I say that 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 two hour two or three hour meeting that we're going to have in Coachella next year, I think I think I think Paul and Timbers won't take part because I think I, that's my feeling now, uh, and I'm not criticizing the referee because I think in situations like the sending off. We have VAR that we invest a lot of money in. We have we have offside decisions from that goals that we invest a lot of money in VAR. So I say that whoever's in that room in Dallas needs a, a long, hard look at itself because Pepe Mora has never, never, ever, ever gone in with his studs to plant a foot on that guy's head. It was accidental. He couldn't get out of the way. This is football, so you got to have a smell of football. You got to have a smell of what is what is someone running at 100 miles an hour in a game when we're four three down with the emotion, and there's a, it's physically impossible for Pepe Mora to get his. And that's that's not a criticism. And like I say, I'm trying to be really balanced because I like the referee. I think he's a really good guy. I think he's a really good person. I've known him for a long time, uh, and I think he's a good referee. Uh, I think we need to help him more. I think we need to support them more, and I think they need better equipment, uh, better camera angles, and all that business. But like I say, what we what we see in a two-hour uh, seminar with the referees when they come, they take up two and three hours of our time. We sit there patiently. Next year, we're not doing. We'll open up to questions. Who'd like to start us off, Jeremy? Hi, Coach. Uh, I want to talk about that first half, specifically just the three instances that um, led to you guys conceding goals, uh, both the set pieces and then the counterattack that led to Araujo's foul that yeah. won them the penalty. Um, what is the message to the defensive group this week to try and cut out those mistakes now that they're showing up more prevalently at home? Well, I, I think I think that you work all week on certain things, and players have got to do their jobs. The keepers got to keep the ball out the back of the net. Players have got to mark their man on corners, and and you know we were two 0 down, and they didn't have a kick in the game. They didn't have a kick in the game, and uh, like I say, I think I think in in these moments from now to the end of the season, we are. We are now. We are now. Uh, you get punished. It feels like you get punished even more because the points become even more valuable. And so we've just got to work even more, uh, even harder than what we've been doing. And and if that means an extra half an hour, next 30, 30, 40 minutes, then we've got to do because we want to be successful. And I think when you score four goals at home and play the type of football we've just played, you deserve to win that game of football. And. Uh, you know, next week against Seattle at this moment in time, because because of what we just spoke about, we're going to be missing Jonathan Rodriguez and uh, Pepe Mora uh, in one of the biggest games uh, of the season. Because I think because of poor refereeing decisions, but we have to be better in terms of uh, what we do in the defensive area. Hey, coach. How you doing? Good. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Enjoy that. Parts of it. Yeah. yeah. Parts of it. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. We are going to be down Rodriguez and Mora next game, a huge game. But then even the guys that didn't score tonight, I saw Bravo running the entire 
cross section of that field, laying in some beautiful crosses. So I saw a lot of really positive things, um, even though we conceded the goals. And my question for you is, knowing that we're going to be down two of our top scorers, what's your message for the guys that get to step in and have that chance against Seattle? What's the message for the mentality going forward to hold on to that? Yeah, well, I think I think what what we uh, what we did, we invested in Mason Toy. We we every time we pick a team, we we look at Anthony and think he should be in the starting eleven. We we rotated a lot of players in the uh, in the league's cup to get players ready for these moments, and and that's why you have depth. That's why you have squads. That's why you have trust in these guys. And 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 I said before the game that is that in the next in, in the next nine games we're going to need, need absolutely everybody, and we will. And it's about. It's about the collective. It's about we, not I. And and there are players in there that are frustrated. There are players in there that that are happy, and and they've got to put that to one side and sit and think that the the common goal is far greater than their than, than theirs. And uh, now it's an opportunity for others to step up. And and we've got uh, we've got some good players to come in. And you know I think picking the team has always been a hard thing for me to do over the last month because of the form of everybody. And uh, next week we we bring back. Kamal and we bring back uh, and we've got Mason, we've got Anthony, we've got uh, Eric Williamson that can come in, we've got Paredes, we've got all these players that can come in. So uh, it's opportunity for somebody to go and play and in, in, in one of our biggest games. And coach, I do want to talk about the positives. Uh, the team was down uh, two goals, three separate occasions today. Uh, they kept continuing to fight all night. Uh, can you just talk to us about the determination and the grit of the team? Yeah, I mean, I think we've seen that all season, I think. I think I think the the proud bit for me as a manager is is that you want the team to mirror yourself. You want the team to mirror the culture of the club. You want the team to mirror the supporters. And I think I think what you see at Providence Park this season, I think you see a team that mirrors what this club's all about. Exciting exciting football. And and I'm sure, you know, when, when the final whistle went the first thing I thought was that, that was a brilliant game of football. I've got to say, and 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 the, it was end to end, and don't forget that they've they they brought six new players in, two two DPs maybe, and quality players. So if if you know, I heard some people say this week that this is just uh, an easy game for us. No, I think if they were starting the season now, they're a top four, top five team, and and that that needs respect. And 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 what they're where they're at this moment in time is that they're backs to the wall, all or nothing. You know, because every. They need to probably win seven out of nine games. We probably only need to win four or five. So our position's better than theirs. So they they just went for it. We knew they would. Seattle will just go for it. We knew they will. Vancouver, uh, RSL, Colorado. It's going to be... It's gonna be it's gonna be all or nothing in every single game. It's gonna be a playoff game. Every game is a playoff game. So I'd say that to be a part of that is really special. The frustration the frustration is is that. With that collective spirit, we just need a little bit of composure. We need to keep our heads in the in the next eight games. Coach, I'll let you decide this time, English or Spanish. Um, te voy a preguntar en español. En este tipo de juegos mencionaste frustración. Eh, vemos lo que pasó con Felipe. Tal vez no fue falta, tal vez fue, no sabemos. Pero, ¿cómo controlas tú eh, a tus jugadores para que no se salga del control del partido, para que puedan empatar en estos últimos minutos? Mi, mi, mi siento, oh, mi, mi pienso que uh, nosotros controlamos todo el partido, pero cuatro momentos malos uh, donde ellos uh, marcaron un gol, pero después esos momentos controlamos todo el partido uh, con posesión, con calidad, con, con movimientos buenos. Uh, es en un partido donde tuvimos que controlar la, la emoción más que el fútbol, porque en, 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 en el inicio yo, yo pienso que todos los jugadores van, va, vamos, vamos, vamos. No, no, en el fútbol necesitamos uh, disciplina. Disciplina en el, en el primer parte, yo, yo creo que no, no, no tuvimos disciplina. Disciplina sin la pelota. Con la pelota, perfecto, pero, pero con la pelota es como un, uh, sub, uh, como un, un fútbol con los jóvenes en, en el parque, ¿entiendes? Eso, 
necesitamos mejorar y entender y, uh, y mejorar. Thank you. Uh, Phil, um, St. Louis were called for 22 fouls, only received three yellow cards. You guys had 11 uh, fouls, four yellow cards and a red card. You yeah. talked about uh, MLS needing to, to help the referees. Um, yeah. Is consistency the biggest thing that, that they need to help them with, do you think? Well, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, we need, to inv we, keep, we need to keep investing. Because this league is getting better, this this product is getting better, the quality of the league is getting better. It's getting bigger. We're, we're attracting, we're attracting some of the best players for the world here. So we need to keep moving forward with every aspect: stadiums, training grounds, uh, players, and the referees need help. The referees need help. You know, the camera systems need to be better. You know, when you're thinking about offsides, we, we had an offside goal. Was it offside or not? I've asked my video analysis and he said, you know what, it was tight. The angles of the camera, so our angles of the camera need to be better. You watch CONCACAF, you watch uh, Champions League, you watch Premier League, La Liga. They all have the best cameras. Now, if we want to be the best league in the world, we have to invest. We have to invest in that. And that's that's where we need to get to. And, and, and this league is is incredible. I th Honestly, I think, that, I think particularly the West, I think the West has got so much quality. And uh, the referees need our support and help, not killing every single week. I, I, I don't want to kill the referee that was there tonight. He just needed more help. When, it, when a decision is made or something happens, he needs help. That's why we invest so much money in VAR. If not, we should get rid of VAR. VAR is there to support the referee, to help the decisions to be perfect. And I'm not sure we're getting that. That's, uh, but that is world football in a way. But I think in MLS, we just need to keep improving. We'll wrap it there. Thank you, Phil. Thank you.